Hey, what's up guys, Jordan here. Really quick Pro Tools tip for you today. And this is purely just because people have asked me about this a bunch of times inside my mixing courses and just from videos that I've done on YouTube, including one I did just uh, last week. So the, uh, the tip I'm gonna give you here is how to link plugin settings in Pro Tools. So you can adjust, if you know, if you have two tracks, let's say a left and a right guitar, that are, you know, you wanna EQ and compress and process the exact same on both sides, rather than having to constantly copy and paste plugins or whatever, you can have it be linked together in real time. So as you adjust one plugin, it's adjusting it on that track and whatever tracks you have grouped to it. So I've got this session uh, open up here, mix session for Nick Johnston uh, for this uh, awesome song here. Uh, so let me just play it. <laughs> So we have some two guitar tracks here. They're called, uh, well, we've labeled them, labeled them 16th note guitar tracks, doubled left and right. Now that's a good example of something that I would want to process uh, the exact same on both sides. Uh, so let's go ahead and select those two tracks. Let me make this a little bigger for you. And hit uh, Command G to create a group. So let's call it 16th guitar. So this is kind of little known within Pro Tools, but when you create a group, you actually have a ton of control over what settings are basically included and linked together in that group. So typically you'll, you'll set your global. So for me with the group, with the group, really, I just want to be able to solo it. And if I'm recording, I'll have it, you know, record enable. So I can just hit one track, let's say on eight drum tracks, I can just hit record on one. It's going to record enable all of them. If I want to solo one drum track, it's going to solo all the drum tracks, stuff like that. Typical use for a group like that. Uh, but what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to uncheck follow globals because I don't want it to just be my default group settings. Then I'm going to go over to attributes. Make sure you're here. These are your global settings. These are your attributes. So typically this will be, you know, if you haven't tweaked anything, this is going to be all empty or maybe you'll have a bunch of random things checked here. So this allows you to choose exactly what you want to be grouped. And in, in this case, to link plugin settings together, you want to group the controls and the bypass of inserts of the plugins. So I'm going to hold alt, click plugin controls for all the inserts, A to J, same with that. And again, you can get really granular, you know, maybe if you want to, um, you want to have all the, the plugins on your channel linked together, except for the third plugin, which is maybe an EQ and you're EQing differently on one side, uh, you might just uncheck that. So you can get really granular with this. I don't really do that. I pretty much, I'm always just going all the way with one of these. So I want to link the plugin controls, the plugin bypass. I want it to solo and I wanna control the volume of these at the same time, uh, but that's it. So we'll go ahead and, well, we can also make this a mix. You can choose if you want it to be edit group or uh, a mix group or both. Typically you just leave it on both, uh, but let's go ahead and make this a mix group. Hit okay. And you can see it down here, it's created. And now, boom, we can solo these together. So I'm gonna start loading plugins here. So again, if I hit option shift and then click, that's gonna give me the plugin on both tracks that I have selected here. So I'm loading up the SSL channel both at the same time. Now let's uh, say we wanna add some mid-range, some 2K to these guitars. Now look, if I open up the other guitar track, boom, exact same settings here. So again, let me uh, shift click and have both of these plugin windows open. So you can see as I'm turning this on one plugin, it's affecting the other side as well. So we don't need low end here. This is a guitar layer. So let's filter this down a little bit. Now it also works with the bypass. So you can bypass them both at the same time. Check your AB that way. Okay, and again, I'm gonna Alt Shift or Option Shift click. Let's add a compressor here. And I'll bring them both up at the same time so we can see how this is working. Try this electric guitar setting. So there you go, simple as that, just changing some group settings when you create the group, and you can always right click on a group after you create it, if you made a mistake or you wanna change 
uh, the attributes of the group. And then again, not only did I link the plugin uh, settings, I also linked the volume settings here so that I can just move one fader. And yeah, that, that's basically the tip I wanted to share with you guys. And this is really useful for, again, left, right guitar tracks like this, or, you know, if you have a vocal track that's kind of staggered, like let's say uh, one line is kind of overlapping the others, you've got to have your, your lead vocal track separated onto two tracks, but you want to process them the exact same way. Well, rather than bussing them to one bus, that's going to affect the compression if they're overlapping each other. So I'll just use this trick and I'll put the exact same plugin chain on both tracks and I'll link them together so that I can have them basically sounding the exact same and uh, have minimal effort, not having to copy and paste plugins back and forth. And again, you can, you can do so many different group settings, mutes, records, solos, input monitoring, send levels, all that sort of thing. So utilize those group settings when you need to. Just want to let you know it's there and uh, hopefully this helps answer some questions that are uh, continually raised as you see me doing this uh, in the video. So hopefully all you Pro Tools users get some value out of this. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.